we cannot talk about wanting the Middle East or criticize the Middle East from afar, wanting to democracy and stability and all of these things if we're not going to invest. And, and, and I am talking about very practical way. There needs to be an investment in all the moderate voices, and women are the most moderate voices. Women are actually the only hope in the Middle East, and I have a complete faith that the only way out of this crisis in the Middle East is to invest in women and empower women. But when we look at the investment in women vis-a-vis -vis all the moderate voices, vis-a-vis -vis the investment the Islamist reg uh, regimes, I guess, uh, are getting, is minuscule. You know, the, we're talking about the differences of millions of dollars that are consistently being poured to fundamentalist uh, groups, mm -hmm. to Syria included, you know, as opposed to much more mediocre support to the modernist and to women's issues. So that's one thing. So money is an important factor in this dynamic. The second one is we cannot, and this is something that I was really caught up a few years ago in Sudan when I was visiting Sudan and met with government officials and I was like, where are the women? You've got to invest in women, da, da, da. And the, the official just like, just stop it here, just stop it. Unless you guys, unless the US delegations and the UN delegations and the European delegations also come with 50% of their delegation are women, do not lecture us about what we need to do because you guys are not doing that. And so, very good point. You know, and a point that silenced me, to be honest, you know? Good point, right? So if we are to talk about all Muslim women having to get better roles and all of these things, we've got to push for that debate, you know? You cannot meet with business people in the Middle East if you're saying, if you don't ask, where are the women? You cannot make investment if you don't ask where the women. That push makes a difference in there. <laughs>